Wind turbine blades are really tough, but can they be recycled? You and I have an insatiable appetite for electricity. Come with me and we'll look at the issues relative to wind farms and the communities that they serve. This is the Wind Farm Guy. Hi, this is Dennis Stout, and thank you for joining me for this episode of the Wind Farm Guy. One of the greatest concerns with wind farms today is what to do with the components. What happens to all of those components when they're removed or replaced? The biggest concerns are the blades themselves. In the past, they could not be recycled. Wind turbine blades are made of different materials that includes various metals, foam, balsa wood, carbon fiber, and others. However, the prime material is fiberglass with cured resin, and that is where the problem lies. Fiberglass composite materials are non-degradable, and for a long time, fiberglass blades were considered non-recyclable. I'm standing here at a facility for Global Fiberglass Solutions. GFS has created a process to recycle these blades. Yeah, those blades that were deemed non-recyclable, they're now being recycled. Their proprietary material science has allowed them to convert wind turbine blades into feedstock for the manufacturing of new recycled products. The blades are first cut into two to three pieces like these and transported to this, these sites where they take the blades through further breakdown processes and turn the blades into fines and fibers. Fines and fibers can then be used to manufacture these pellets and also some panels. These pellets can be used in many different applications, similar to plastic pellets, but greater quality. Shipping pallets is just one example of the use of these pellets. Plus, GFS EcoPoly pellets can also be used in the production of wind turbine tower parts. Yes, wind turbine tower parts. Now that's true recycling. Take old wind turbine components and repurpose and recycle them into other wind turbine parts. Who knew? GFS currently has two facilities and each facility can recycle about a blade an hour. They're in the process of building automated systems and also building up inventory for greater operations in the near future. With that, they'll be able to handle even more blades. What does the future hold for this kind of technology? Well, you could guess this. The current market is shifting toward recycled products. Some states already require the use of recycled material in new products. It is projected that the need for these pellets will only grow. Markets for decking, containers, and, and pallets are the first focus of GFS. Their pellets is the, are the replacement of wood plastic composites, especially for moisture sensitive areas because these are mold and rot resistant. But it gets even better. There really is no downside to this process or the products that it produces. EcoPoly products are fully recyclable through the GFS processes and can be recycled infinitely. So, their own trimmings and waste can be put right back into their system and be recycled as well. If you like what I've talked about today, be sure and click like and subscribe below. And if you have thoughts or comments, please also leave those below. This is fascinating stuff, and I asked GFS if there was one thing they wish the general public knew, what would that be? Their response was simply, wind turbine blades are recyclable. They can create great products from these pellets, and please do not send the blades to landfills where they will lay there for a thousand years. I really appreciate these guys and how they are making this part of renewable energy that much more earth friendly and sustainable. This is Dennis Stout and I'm the Wind Farm Guy. Thank you for watching. Working together we can make good energy decisions and save our planet. I am the Wind Farm Guy.